So today I'll be doing some at-home product photography of this Hydro Flask. So this is the setup for the shot. I have the Canon EOS R on a tripod back here with the 24 to 105 RF lens and I'll put these settings on the screen that I'm using for the shoot. Then over here I have the water bottle on this blue backdrop that I got picked up from Michaels and that's leaned up against this vase it's using some scotch tape. And then to light the backdrop, I have this Aperture ALM9 light just placed right behind the bottle. All right, so for the second shot, I have the red poster board down. I have the water bottle on top of it, and then I just have these AirPods to kind of add something else to the photo. And then I have the camera set up on the tripod, and kind of this downward angle so I can get a top-down shot. I'll put the camera settings up on the screen right here. So overall, the pictures turned out great. These are the final shots. Um, the red background looked fine. I just used Photoshop to extend the background to get rid of the blue and the shadows in the back. But for the blue background, I liked how the bottle looked without the light behind the bottle, but I liked the look of having the light on the background, so I used Photoshop to go ahead and cut the bottle out of the lighted background and then remove the lighted bottle from the first picture and put it into it. So I'm going to take you into Photoshop right now to show you how to do that. Alright, so here I have the photo with the red backdrop opened up in Photoshop. I exported it from Lightroom. I'm just going to go ahead and use a polygonal lasso tool to select the top left blue portion first. I'm going to hit delete. Make sure it says content to wear and hit OK. And that should get rid of the blue portion on the top left corner. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat that for the marbles a shadow on the top right. And that'll take care of that. And then go ahead and do it for the little bit of blue on the bottom left. You can also do this with the clone stamp tool. Um, I just prefer the content aware fail since it was faster for this. Alright, so for the blue background, I opened up both images in Photoshop. The first has the well-lit bottle and the other one has a well-lit background. So I'm going to go ahead and convert the well-lit bottle into a layer so I can go ahead and copy that and paste it into the file with the well-lit background. And from here, I'm going to just turn that layer off after I scale it up to the right size. Now with the top layer disabled, I'm going to make a layer from background using the bottom layer that has the well-lit background. I'm going to select it and use a polygonal lasso tool to select the bottle. This can be pretty rough, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just getting close enough to the bottle. Now once I have that selected, I'm going to go up to edit and hit content to wear fill. Now I'm going to make sure this green portion is just covering the blue anywhere that isn't the bottle since I don't want it pulling from the bottle itself to fill in where it is. Now once I have that, I can hit OK. It's going to look a little rough, but don't worry, the new bottle is going to cover that. So I can turn on the new layer with the well lit bottle. I'm going to go ahead and use the magic wand tool and you can hit select subject. And since we have a nice contrast between the bottle and the backdrop, this will automatically just select the bottle. Now I'm going to invert this selection using command shift I and just hit delete to get rid of that background. And now we have the well lit bottle on that well lit background. We can go ahead and save this and export it. Here's the final shot. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.